Hey, hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is JY. Uh, so tonight I'll be just sharing with you um, how to fully utilize this guide to help us uh, build and, and scale our business. Okay, now let's go straight into topic. First thing uh, I want you to you guys to think about is why is getting started guide so important? Uh, okay, so um, to me, when I first started, initially when I started the business, I, I didn't really utilize the Getting Started Guide. Um, it was only until like year two into business that I, I realized like the importance of it, like everything we need to know um, to build the business, um, to scale the business, it's all written inside the Getting Started Guide. And that's where I really uh, looked into it and, and started uh, utilizing uh, personally and, and in, in my organization. Um, so let me just break it down to you what I think get it start, Getting Started Guide is, okay? It's about, um, I break it down into two, two terms. One, getting started. Basically, it teaches you how to start your business and eventually scale it. And a guide meaning to say it's systemized, standardized, and uniform. It's step-by-step step -step know-how um, to teach you how to build this business because it's a tested and, and proven system. Um, it's a, a business like a franchise, right? So there is always a system in place to teach you how to build this business. Okay, moving on. Then the next question we want to ask is, when do we use the Getting Started Guide? When is it the best time to use it? Is it before registration? Is it after registration? Or when we're building the business? Okay, different people would, would use it differently. Uh, previously, when I first started using it, I, I thought it was just something that I use um, after I register someone uh, in the business and then along the way, use the Getting Started Guide to guide them and teach them on how and mentor them through uh, uh, the business building process. Uh, but I realized that it's actually three different times uh, in the business. First, we start off by using the Getting Started Guide even way before uh, registering the person into the business. Okay, then after they register and then even during the process of building the business, Getting Started Guide is constantly used. Uh, so today, tonight I'll just share with you how to use it or rather how I use it before registration, how I use it after registration, um, how do I use it when building a business and also why um, do I structure it that way. Okay, so first is before registration. So um, the reason why we use it before registration, as you can see on the on the screen, is really to state like the rules of the game. Because I don't know online, I don't know if you guys are familiar with games like poker or like mahjong, right? Before you even go into playing the game, you will actually uh, even talk about like what are the odds, what's the payout, like you know, you you play mahjong, what are the rules? Because you play with different people, it's different rules. Right. Same for business, like in, 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 in building a short home business, you have your own team culture, you have your own um, somehow expectation uh, towards some with with somebody that you're working with. And, and when it comes to shop.com business, we are looking at a long term uh, business partnership. So in order to avoid any discontentment moving forward when you're building the business together, set the rules right, right before we even agree on going to partnership. This is why we do it before registration, right? Set expectation and really have an open communication with your uh, new partner, new potential partner on what do you um, expect to do or what you expect them to do or their expectation of you as, as a partner, like what kind of support you can uh, render or, or, or things like, um, during this entire process, what would you be doing with them? How would you guide them? You know, a very open communication. It, it's simply just to avoid um, future, you know, finger pointing, say, hey, back then you promised me that or this or that. Actually, a lot of things are not stated upfront. So open communication is very important and also to get their commitment. And it's easier to duplicate that way because we are in a business of duplication. I always believe duplication starts from uh, the moment you actually speak to that person, like from the moment you speak to that person, share the concept, invite to a business presentation, um, after that, handle objections and, and then eventually bring them on board the business. Duplication starts right from the time you, you do your call workshop to call them to invite. Because how you call them is going to be how they call their friends. How you text them is going to be how they text their friends. So how you sign them up 
uh, how you bring them on to about the business is how they're going to bring their future partners on the business. So if you want a, a strong foundation for your organization, um, strongly suggest that just do whatever the getting started pack um, it's suggests uh, us to do because um, what I realized is because I, I, I'm, I'm quite young and um, majority of people within my organization are older than me. So getting started guide is also a great tool for me to communicate them because it's what the business say we should do is the tested and proven plan, not me, right? So it's a good, good, op uh, good tool to really fully utilize um, if you see it from that perspective. Okay, so now we, we go, I hope you guys have a, a getting started guide with you in your hands right now. So we go into page two, where the very top um, of the page, I'm just going to break down into details um, every single part of the getting started guide. So uh, first thing is congratulations, the decision to become an independent and franchise owner and build a market Singapore and franchise business can be one of the most empowering and rewarding endeavor you are ever undertake. This is something I get them to read. Uh, allowed because and the key point is that it's going to be the most empowering and rewarding endeavors um, they will ever undertake so it's to help them recognize that they're getting into serious business right this is a business it's not a hobby um, it's something that they are taking up and it's going to be um, the most uh, one of the things that that it's the most fulfilling in their life right so this is the first part that i go through okay the next thing it's um, if we move to the, the right side, and you can see this block here that I highlighted, um, as with a traditional franchise, the key to success will be your ability to effectively implement a tested and proven business plan. Okay, the, the key thing in this entire passage is a tested and proven business plan. Because this is where um, I'm going to have an open communication with them that whether they succeed or fail in this business is entirely dependent on their effort and actions. It's not me. It's not because the season, the system doesn't work because there are tons of people out there who has made money um, via this system. And, and there, there are a lot of people in Singapore, you can see Leanne, Michelle, you know, tons of people making money. So it's not the system, it's not the company, it's not the team, it's nothing. It's, it's their own effort and action that determines whether they succeed or fail. So this is an open communication that I'll have with them um, when they first launch a business, okay? Now, moving on, the next point here is to help them identify the leaders who can assist them in their growth or assist you in your growth. So you need to familiar, be familiar with like sponsor, you know who brought you in a business, um, who's the, the immediate um, executive connect, coordinator they can reach out to, you know, if your, your sponsor is not around or your sponsor happened to leave the business or like the next guy or the next person you can look for. Um, to assist you or to mentor you through this business. It doesn't always have to be your sponsor. Okay, so you you have to, we have to let our new partners know like who are the people that they can work with. If not, whenever a sponsor leaves the business, they will feel like, oh, I'm very alone or like I've, I've nobody that can support me. And, and it's a pity that because of that, they leave the business, which is a missed opportunity. So um, we want to let them know who it's involved. So like local seminar coordinator for 2019 is Reese and Linda. Um, this is, in, in Singapore, there's only one local seminar, uh, seminar coordinator, but if you were to go and build big, bigger markets like uh, maybe US or even Malaysia, they're actually different local seminars for different states. So you want to get them connected with the, the, the local in their state, the local seminar in their state, so they know who to go to look for tickets or, or the next upcoming event, which is really important. Okay. Now. Um, then the next part is office address, contact number, social media, where they can get information if they need or um, updates, right? Social media page, pages are the best to get ourselves updated, especially for blogs and like Instagram, Facebook, or even like um, YouTube, the YouTube channel where we can get a lot of first-hand information in terms of the convention or like new product launch. All the videos are all there uh, ready for us to utilize. So these are something. These are these are areas that you want to point them to as well for them to get information. Um, new partners, they are very. Some are new partners. They are very hungry for information, and there's only so much you can feed them every day. And also, there's only so much classes that is available for them to go and attend. So during other times where like you know 10 p.m., 11 p.m. into the night, if they have nothing to do, they want more information. Just send them to YouTube. It's an endless uh, sea of uh, information that can get them updated. 
right? So that's the second page. Now I move on to. Okay, now we move on to the third page. So where we talk about the section, this is the section, first section of the Getting Started Guide. Section one, developing your unfranchised business. Okay, it says on top there, following these guidelines will be one of one of the key success factors, one of the key success factors in developing your unfranchised business. Okay, then there is this area where it says uh, part one, it says I will, I've highlighted there. This is where communication is key. Okay, when this is still before registration, where communication is key, where we want to understand like um, whether they are able to commit to this 12 month business uh, proven business plan. Okay, in the past, I will always like force them to put a tick. Okay, you are going to commit for 12 months. You're going to do 8 to 15 hours. You're going to this, 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 check, 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 and everything check. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they would do it. Ultimately, it doesn't matter whether they check or they don't check. It's, how much can they commit and how much can they do, right? So similar for, for those online, if you're because everyone is really a franchise owner, this is also an important area where um, we let our senior partners know how much um, time they should spend on us. Because if you are only going to work um, four to six hours a week, then I would, be, I would spend lesser time with you and spend more time with somebody who says they want to put in 20 to 30 hours because they, they deserve more support and they require more support. So this is also where, um, like, for example, the second line. OK, so we go through the first line first. Commit to the following 12 month business, proven business plan. And why 12 months? Because when you register for the business, one, $164.95 is for a year. So why, why not just use it, utilize it fully, try it for a year? If after a year, you, you don't, you're not, you don't want this business anymore, then, you know, you can call it quits, but don't, don't let it go or quit before you even try it, right? So this is where I'll let them know, say, why is it 12 months, right? Because they've really subscribed for it. Now, then the second line, I'll commit 8 to 15 hours. This is part of the test and approval plan. 8 to 15 hours to do what? Not 8 to 15 hours attend class. 8 to 15 hours per week to complete tasks and activities without producing activities outlined in this plan. So a lot of people think 8 to 15 hours, I've been going to local seminar classes, blah, blah, blah. You become a professional student, but you're not really building the business, right? You don't want that happen, happening to um, yourself or even your partners. So this is somewhere where we have to communicate like what is required and also to let them know that 8 to 15 hours per week is the two to three year plan. But if they say I can't do 8 to 15 hours, then you got to let them know, say, oh, they say I can only do six, four to six hours, for example. Then you have to let them know that maybe their plan would be the, the six to eight years plan. All right. We have to be realistic here because the, the proven plan is 8 to 15 hours. If you can only do four to six hours, then I'm sorry, it's, it's going to become a um, uh, six to ten, eight years plan. So this is where open communication comes in. I'll move on. Um, tickets are so important, right? And then, of course, uh, shopping NOT master member, master and um, franchise owner program, um, listen to two audios a week. So I've highlighted the main points that we need to communicate with our partners where it comes to the first part of developing our franchise business. And, and then the last one is to learn and practice uh, the basic five fundamentals. So if they're okay, throw a tip. If they're not okay, then communicate, maybe because they don't understand. It's like, you tell people, I need, you need to do a master UF un unfranchised program. But for a newcomer or a new unfranchised owner, they have no idea, like, what's a master unfranchised owner program? What, what can it do for them? So this is where we have to communicate with them and let them know, say, uh, this, this unfranchised, what, what can this master UFO program do for them? Right? Or how can it help them grow or build their business? So that is, um, this is the communication part. Next, next part would be um, the important dates in the calendar. So you have to plan out when are they going to do their annual T, their basic five ECCT. Strongly recommend these three classes within the first three months, the first 90 days when they register their business. Um, go into their back office and, and just buy the, the purchase the annual T ticket uh, for, with them. And then uh, go and schedule in the basic five and, and ECCT with them. And then further down would be uh, major events like local seminar, annual convention, leadership schools. So any conventions happening, Southeast Asia conventions happening next week. 
uh, local seminar the next one will be uh, 11 of May by Sarah Rostack. So the number of tickets you have on hand really determines the rate of your business growth. It doesn't mean you buy tickets, you will grow your business. It's you buy tickets, then you got to put it into the hands of some your, your future potential partners. So, so if you haven't gotten your tickets for the next leadership school, which is already available on sale, and your next local seminar, Sarah Rostack, amazing speaker. If you haven't gotten it yet, please go and get your hands on some. Okay, so tickets, then uh, really to plan. This is really to plan out their, their calendar for them because for, for someone new, they really have no idea where to start and they have no idea where to go. Um, so this is where step by step we have to plan in all these important days. They must be willing to go, especially NOT, right? If they can't go within 28 days, it's, it's, it's not good. So this is where we have to plan ahead with them. Okay. Then this is also where before registration, get their top 10 names list. For someone who cannot give a top 10 names list, it's going to be very tough working with them. It's going to be very tough uh, building the business with them. So before registration, if you do this part, you can be able to get to their people's people, right? So this is where we, we do the ABC pattern. So um, you want them to list out uh, top 10, whether is it for business, for products, or is it for uh, online shopping? And we will have to go through with them, uh, person one person by person, um, how are we gonna approach the people on this top 10 names list? Okay. Next, uh, before registration, same thing, uh, the page four, where on the left side of this, of the page, you see, schedule a call workshop with a senior partner to make calls to share the business and or to share the products. Okay, I put call slash message workshop because honestly, people my generation now, you, we don't call. If we call, it's like something major happened or I want to borrow money. So uh, we do message workshops um, that can work as well. Okay, schedule for that. Then number two is to schedule two on one and or one-on-one -on -one meetings to present on franchise business twice a week. Um, I would prefer to bring weekly to UBP, bring two guests, because if you, imagine if your senior partner have to help you, one person show plan twice a week, and your, your senior partner don't have just you, one partner, it's gonna be a lot of time consumed. Uh, bring everybody to a, the, the, the a franchise business presentation uh, where the entire team will be there. So there's more synergy going. Um, yeah, but of course there are people who cannot attend UBP because of working hours or because of uh, other commitments, right? Then of course we still do the two-on-one and, and one-on-ones, but uh, the best is still UBP because that's the easiest to duplicate. Then uh, next would be uh, a product preview wellness. Um, sg.shop.com overview. Um, I like to run grand launch and workshop for new partners um, because that's the easiest way where they can invite people and say, hey, um, I've started a new business and I'll be having a grand launch party to, to share with you, with my friends and family on what I'm currently doing. So at, in like one shot, they can bring their friends and family all gather at one space. And then we can they can share about like some products, they can share, about shop.com, they can also share like why are they doing this business, what got them into the business. So like one shot, everyone, um, their, their immediate contact sphere can know like this is what they're doing, right? Then the entire team can go support. Uh, so schedule dates for that. Then the next one is uh, HBP. Um, HBP, it's more towards like the people on the US side where they do a lot of HBP. Um, in Singapore, it's kind of tough because um, our houses are, are generally much smaller, right? I mean, the typical average Singaporeans, we stay in a HDB or even a condo, right? Uh, we don't have that much space to house so many people to run a HBP. So you, you, if you have the space, of, it, of, of course you can do HBP, but um, still you can utilize the weekly UBP. And now we won't have Saturday UBP. So there are a lot more options for us now. And we don't have to be the one planning or, or, or planning the entire HPP, right? It's already there, available to us. We just need to buy tickets. Okay, then personally download ShopBuddy and encourage all preferred customers to download ShopBuddy. ShopBuddy is really very smart. It's like your shopping khaki, shopping khaki. Yeah. That's what I always tell my, my customers, right? So that's something that um, we can do. Then next would be 
uh, ways to share the business. Okay, we can let new partners know um, what are some ways that they can utilize. Pick a few um, that they are comfortable with that they can easily utilize, like the UBP um, things like social media, and then like have them like online videos. Have a couple of videos that are really good um, to to like introduce the concept to share. You can share with your new partners, and then they can use that to share concept with friends. Uh, okay. Then next it's what is shop.com to you? So until this point, right, before that, everything before that is what we were plan uh, before registration. Until this point is things that I will go through with them before registration, uh, but it's like homework for them. So we will meet the next time within three to seven days where Just Nice is open box. And then they would, uh, we will review what is shop.com to them. So technically we don't give them the answer. Uh, you want to hear from them like, what, how do they see shop.com? And then slowly from there, uh, we help them fine tune their what is it. And similarly for their two minutes commercial. So it's very important. People don't care what you do until they know why you do it. Ultimately, shop.com is a awesome, amazing business, a really, really smart concept that JR came up with. Uh, but people really follow you because of you, right? And why you are doing it. So this is something that we have to communicate with them as well. Um, they have to figure out their why. And, and this is also something where you will know what keeps them going, what's their drive, right? So that's why we, we, we plan this during before registration. Then the next thing will be, what do they want? What do you want? When do you want? How badly do you want it? So this is like the next segment of um, section two of your why and your goal statement. Okay, so I'll go through with them this and it's given to them as homework. Okay, then the next thing is this detailed plan. We will have to see when, what is their goal and um, our role is to help them plan out a, a detailed consistent plan of consistent actions to help them achieve um, their, their personal goals. And then um, explain to them what are the daily tasks and activities. Remember just now in the first part, they say eight to 15 hours to complete tasks and activities that are lined out. These are the tasks and activities that are lined up daily, you know. So here is the entire list. If you're holding the organic style guide, you'll be able to see it, like at a cultivate, cultivate two possibilities. And then this entire list of it, I'm just not going to go through it. And the next thing is when it, after you're done, we're done with personal goals. Now it's business commitment goals, right? Um, for some, so this is where we need to know, like, what, are, what, when do they want to achieve? What kind of income goal? Once they have uh, solidified like their personal goals, put a price tag next to it, then plan for it. Like if they want in, in five years, they need like, um, say they want to have $100,000 in their bank or like $200,000 in their bank. So in the next five years, what pin level they, sh they should achieve and what are the income goals they that they should be looking at. This is where as a, a senior partner or a sponsor, we have to go through with them and help them um, plan out their action like action plan for at least the the upcoming uh, months and years uh, what they need to do um, timeline milestones um, this is where we will help them plan it uh, and different people will be different because you know somebody who wants twenty thousand and somebody who wants ten thousand their workload is definitely different so this is where we we have to fine tune the action plan for them okay then um, explain to them. This would, we would go through before registration just to let them know briefly. They can go home and read um, when they, we meet them the, sec, the next time, the next round within the three, uh, next three to seven days. Um, we will go through again and at least in the next 90 days to help them understand and to help them um, build uh, this personal usage and of course their retail sales. So when it comes to business production, you can see if you read, right? Two, three, four. Uh, personal use is recommended here. That is um, 200 BV worth of product monthly. And then after one, uh, 200 BV after one month of uh, registration and personal purchase of more than $500, which is equivalent to about 30 IBV. Um, if you work out the numbers, 30 IBV, it's approximately like a 12% IBV percentage. Okay. If you spend five hundred dollars, uh, of course, moving forward with the if if the shopping entity products comes into Singapore, then the IBB will be much higher. 
the percentage will be much higher. Okay, so that's personal use. Then after that, when it comes to retail sales, so it's written here that to establish a customer base of more than 10, purchasing more than 30 BV and more than 20 IBV um, of product monthly after three months. So with from the point where they register business all the way to um, three months in, it's recommended that within this time frame, look for your 10 customers, build your share of 10 customers, purchasing 30 BV each from you on a monthly basis. That will bring your business production on a monthly basis to, two, to 500 BV, which means um, 1,500 BV in a quarter, you'll be able to meet your SEMM and master UFO criteria. Then four, that's personal use. Then um, four, sorry, that's retail sales. So four, organizational volume. So each independent and franchise owner in your organization should be creating 500 BV and 200 IBV each month. All right, which means it's 500, just now I explained. If in terms of uh, 200 IBV, if your personal purchase is 20, IB, 20 IBV, then you build a share of 18. This is just an example. If your personal purchase is uh, 30, then you build a share of 10 customer that gives you like 17 IBV. So it can be 10 customers, 15 customers, 20 customers. It's entirely up to you on how you want to manage it. But the, the system here is just an example um, of a, a 10 based customer. Okay. Um, so after you've done two, three, four, then four is really to teach and support other unfranchised or other partners to achieve the same goal. And five, six, seven, eight is just telling you why this number will always work in your favor. So if you want to earn a commission check of 375 monthly BV commission, you just need three partners on the left and three partners on the right to do uh, the same thing as you, right, to duplicate it. Six, six is saying that if you want to earn 750 BV commission, you just need six on the left, six on the right. Um, one, two, one, five, um, nine on the left, nine on the right, and then one, eight, seven, five, 12 on the left, 12 on the right. So if you want a solid $1,875 BB commission income, you just need 12 on the left, 12 partners on the left, 12 partners on the right, doing step two, three, four. So this is the area that I highlighted here, two, three, four. So this is why um, it starts with you, your own business production, then only can we teach our new partner or mentor them through or guide them through on creating the same kind of business production that you are creating. So it's important to start with ourselves and, and know how is it done. Okay, so this is where before registration, I'll explain to them and they, they can go home and, and, and read and utilize the Getting Started Guide. Okay, so this is the last part of section two where it says, uh, it talks about 10 base seven strong. So we have explained to them what is 10 base seven strong because this is the, the entire concept of how can we duplicate eventually and, and earn that residual income, right? So 10 customers and um, seven versions of yourself. So, which is where it, it points me back to why I'm saying that it starts with us. Um, would you want to duplicate yourself? If right now we haven't really done this, it, it says in this entire, it, it says there that we are recommended, right, to build 500 BV and 200 IBV of personal and retail sales within three months from the time we start the business, right? But that is what is recommended. So if by now we still have don't have that, then it's really time to look into it and 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 start building that up, because only when we do it on, on our own, then can it really be duplicatable. Okay. So this up until now, it's what. Uh, how we utilize the Getting Started Guide before registration. Now, after registration, why do we use it? It's really to follow up and get to work, get started, uh, to also review like the, what is it, the two minutes commercial access, um, what fine tune, you know, measure the goals, and of course, adjust if to something that is uh, achievable, then realistic. So that's where, after the registration, that's what we will do. And also um, for accountability, like if you if your team team says accountability group, put them in it and um, that will keep them going. Okay, so, sorry, this is meant to be after registration. Okay, after registration, sorry, uh, the top part is, the heading is wrong. So it's after registration. So you can see here, it's highlighted. The follow-up appointment should be scheduled three to seven days from the date the business was established. 
So even the Getting Started Guide points out that section one and section two is meant to be done before the business was established. So only three, three to seven days after the business is uh, established, we will do section, section three and section four. Okay, so what are the things that we need to review? Um, it's all stated here for part one, part two, part three, uh, in terms of retailing and increasing personal sales and uh, group sales volume, right? So first is attitude and knowledge to review their why, to review the answer of what is it, um, to go through the possibilities. Remember the top 10 that you asked them to do, uh, determine the top 10 possibility, uh, top 10 possibility and the best approach for each one of them. Uh, discuss what you have learned, listening audios and videos. So we have to send them, like point them to the right direction, videos, go to YouTube, which channel, audios, unfranchised media, back office, where to download the audios, right? Uh, walk them through the entire back office, um, review how to use the, the, the short.com site. So it's all written here, goals, uh, retailing. So this is a part we would review and adjust and we do it concurrently with open box. So because the box would typically you'll receive it within like two to three working days. Um, that's where you schedule, we have already scheduled this meeting with them to do the open box, to briefly tell them what's within the box and like give them like top three, five, three to five benefits of each product and how they can use it and like how to, especially isotonics, but teach them how to use it. Then, um, then the next part here, is where we want to help them identify how to replace products. Okay, this is one thing that we have to review with them. Replace the products that are available in the get in, in inside um, the open box. And also, how can we do this? Um, do do a, a home shopping list with them. Then from there, we can also identify other things that they are using, but it's not inside the the, the startup kit that they can add on and purchase within like the next one month. Right? So this is one thing. Then the next thing is the, the, the grand launch, or if you want to do a product preview or like a shop.com overview, uh, whatever events that you run with them as a team uh, within the first month when they start the business. Because whenever someone starts a business, right, they're extremely um, excited. Like that's when the fire is really burning, really, really, really burning. So we want to keep that momentum and keep that fire there. And that's where we really want to drill them and get into needs to be done then um now the part three four five this is where we will have to go through them on how to do a short.com uh, platform tour right because that's one of the tools that we have it with us almost 24 7 which is on our phone on our smartphone you just whip up your smartphone go to your short.com site and you can introduce uh, briefly on the, even the concept of the business you can share about the shopping entity you can share about what are the product lines we have us being a product brokerage, internet marketing company, who are the partners we are working with, register them as a preferred customer. And then from there, even send, invite other friends to come on board, like the, the platform, your, your short .com platform to shop, right? So this is where we have to get the new person to, to do a short.com uh, portal tour. Okay, so all these are all in place. Now, the next thing is we have to go through the various approach with them, right? There is the evaluation approach, which JR loves to use, right? He said that's the only way he builds the business, just by using the evaluation approach. Um, of course, there are other approach like the direct, the indirect, the referral approach. Um, it really depends on that person. So if you have a names list and at this, until this point, you have you still have difficulty trying to get people to take a look at the business. Um, it's never, the issue is never with the business. It's always in the details of how we invite or how we do the business or how we share the business. So the devil is in the, is in the details. So if right until this point, um, you, you look into your numbers and, and invitation hasn't been great. Uh, the number of plans shown hasn't been awesome. It's really time to go speak to our senior partners because at one point I was having a lot of issue with that as well. So um, really fully utilize um, our senior partner and, and really pick their brains on how can we um, do this better. Okay, then the next thing we want to go through with them is this ABC, ABC pattern. Okay, it's, it's the only tool, it is, it is the, the way of really scaling our business to be able to leverage our time and um, duplicate 
our efforts. So you can see in the first part here, they, they, uh, it's written here, personal responsibilities. People will do what you do, right? People will not do what you say. People will do what you do. So it, starts, it always starts with yourself. The ABC pattern starts with you performing the following minimum daily, weekly, and monthly activities. Conduct ABC or trial run meeting, one-on-one, uh, two-on-one, two -on -one, HPP. So ABC is if somebody has not made a decision, you don't even need them to make a decision. Like just get them to bring, um, introduce the concept to their friends, family, uh, bring more people forward. So you want to get to their people's people where it duplicates from. So your friend will be A. If your friend brings somebody else, it's B. And if that friend brings another person, that's C. So you want to have this rolling A, B, C, and you have a lot of A's at every one time. So when, when people register a business, it's like one chain of people, one chain of people. So that's, that's where a uh, real synergy can happen. And that's where we can really scale the business. So like I said, from getting started, all the way to understanding and learning and all the way to scaling the business this part is where it talks about how to scale your business it's really through the abc pattern and at the bottom are things that we also have to go through with our new partners to double check like are these all done like have they completed the NUOT? so getting started guide this is where uh it moves forward later on i'll share like when business building how do we use this okay this is the old one uh, now, the next page, uh, possibility list, right? Um, JR is also, if you if you see page, uh, sorry, the previous page, page seven, right? Um, under point number four, it's written that an average person knows 300 people, approximately 300 people. If you don't know 300 people, uh, it could mean that you have all, we have always been uh, very antisocial, uh, which is why the more we need shop.com as a business, or you somehow you just lost contact with everybody uh, but an average person all knows this is what jr says 300 people and uh, create a possibilities of 100 so that every week we can invite two and by the end of one year we can show 52 plans um so that's the real reason why 100 names is and when can we get all these people phone book social media now it's so easy um so for a new partner then you can also tell them to segment it out into like business products online shopping right um, so that's how we utilize this this page, the possibility list. Okay, then the next one would be organization on organizational chart. So we let them know that um, in order to complete one store, uh, it's it's based on stats that we uh, have to minimally have like four independent franchise owner on the left, four on the right. Um, this is where you can ask them like do a do a a, a quick like um session with them on, on how who they want on their team like like who do they see like their friends their really smart friends who do they see that they want it on their team um guide them through it uh, tell them to plan and visualize and together we can make it happen okay so this is coming to the last page where it talks about the master and franchise program, okay? Uh, previously, I've never thought that master UFO is important, but now as my team is doing master UFO, you can really feel the importance of master UFO program, okay? Um, if you don't know the importance, go to your senior partner and review uh, the master UFO program and the 10 base 7 strong to understand why is it so important. Um, it's really a tool to help us scale our business. So if you want to grow and you want to scale, it starts with you. It starts by you doing the Master UFO and Franchise Program, going through it. Maybe the first time you might not achieve it, right? But that doesn't mean that you will not even attempt to do it, right? Do it the first time, then figure out like what you did right and what wasn't so good. Um, talk to a senior partner or even like a, a cross team partner or even a junior partner, whoever a team, you, someone within your team, even outside your team, you talk to them, like like share with them how was your experience and figure out what went wrong, uh, what you did right. So what you did right, keep doing it. What went wrong, just met, just adjust and go at it again. So every quarter, attempt to do the master UFO until you've done it. You've done it one, the very first time. Is that like the most shock feeling ever? Um, after you've done the first time, 
then focus on doing it continuously and then focus on helping your partners do it. And you can really see um, that your business will start to take off. We will start to feel um, a fast, faster, a faster rate in terms of business production, uh, a faster rate in terms of um, adding new partners uh, into your team. So I would encourage everyone, if, if you haven't really even review um, the Master and Franchise Program, go and read it on your Getting Started Guide. Um, those who have done it, like, kudos to you guys. Uh, yeah, so this is the last page. Then now we talk about when building the business. Why do we still need the Getting Started Guide? Because it's meant to be. A lot of people mistake that it's getting started. So you need to do it when you, you are starting the business. But it's important to still use the Getting Started Guide with a new partner in the next 90 days. And then review the Getting Started Guide once, at least once every quarter because every quarter your goals are going to change. You might have met, met your personal goals or your business goals. It's going to change. And somewhere along the line, maybe we have not been really following the system to the T. Uh, that's where the Getting Started Guide it will, will bring us back on course and, and really be following the correct system, the way the business should be built. And it's also a tool to help us measure, monitor, and adjust uh, whether is it on a personal level or is it on a team level. And just go through again your why, uh, person, like I said, personal and business goals, um, even action plan, and personal and team stats. Okay, so um, that's all I have to share for today. And all the best in utilizing this. Start including this tool if you haven't done so uh, into your business building process. Uh, it really makes things a lot smoother because everybody will speak the same language. Uh, everybody know, like everybody's just following the guide. It doesn't it doesn't steer away too much. Um, it's very duplicatable after that. But the first thing when it comes to implementing it, the first time when you implement it, it's a bit um, tough to stick to it. And especially if you are familiar with the getting started guide already, right? You tend not to bring it out and you just verbally verbally do the getting started guide uh i realized that it's not very duplicatable because even if i remember every single thing in the getting started guide doesn't mean my new partner knows or my future partner will know so still bring out the guide the physical copy and run it through every single time just do it um consistently and idiot proof yeah so that's all i have to share for today